Hey guys, Vern Danke, Click and Pick It. Today we're gonna learn how to fix a tire with fire. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey! Vulcanizing shop, home of the Vulcans. Today's project is a trike and so we will proceed by taking the inner tube out of the tire and looking for the leak and the best way to do that is to insert it in some water and look for the bubbles do you see the bubbles yep there they are we have found the leak now we need to make a small plug patch to be inserted into the hole and we do that by cutting a small piece making three small fingers in the patch and inserting the center finger into the hole in the tube. So we peel the backing off, set the patch aside, find the hole again, because it's so small it's hard to find. So once we see it, we can insert the patch. All right, so the next thing we want to do is scrape clean the area by roughing it up, preferably with some scissors. This gives it a mechanical adhesion. And then we use a little diesel fuel to smear around the opening. This softens up the glue. This will also aid in the adhesion of the patch, giving you a nice tight bond. Okay, so that's done. We insert the center finger into the hole, making sure it's in there really well. And this will allow rubber to melt inside the tube, giving you a perfect bond and, a, and an awesome seal so that it will not leak again in this opening. Now we need to make a patch to cover the plug patch and the repair area. Peel the backing and we affix it as firmly as possible. Now to the next step. Now we affix a piece of a soda can a little bit larger than the repair area and we lay it on top of our piston homemade vise. And with everything as flat as possible we set the piston down over the aluminum piece and the patch repair area. This is the area that we're going to apply heat to and we want everything smooth and flat. And then we proceed to clamp down and snug up the vise. Now we don't want it too tight. If you notice, he has a layer of tube folded over itself underneath the repair tube so that the tube doesn't get damaged on the hard surface. And now he just wants to snug everything up so everything is tight and there's no air between the plug patch, the patch, the piston, and the tube. Now we put a little bit of diesel fuel inside the piston and we light it. And this will apply the heat that will fuse everything together. There it is. The fire has started. Now he adds some extra diesel all around the inside to make sure the piston heats evenly and even adds fuel to the screw shaft to make sure that the flames will climb higher just to prevent it from going out. It kind of feeds the, the flames a little bit better. He applies his wind screen to keep the wind from blowing out his, his fire. And now we need to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. So let's check out some tools that are used in this process while we wait. Time's up, it looks like everything is cooked. Now it's time to cool things off with a little bit of water. After a little time has passed, we can start to unscrew the piston. 
And it's best to go slowly. We don't want to disturb the repair. So we carefully peel back the piston at an angle and cool off the repair area in some water. We peel back the aluminum patch and we inspect the repair. How does it look? Wow, look at that, it fused together perfectly. Not even an edge in sight. That's a perfect repair. Next, we insert the tube back into the tire. And we align the valve stem into the valve stem hole in the rim. This puts the tube in the proper alignment position and then we can tuck the tube back into the tire. Now the key here is to make sure there's nothing binding when we push the tire back onto the rim. We don't want to pinch the tube. That is probably the most important thing. So we pry back the tire back onto the rim, being careful not to tear anything or bind our tube. There it is, the last stretch, home free. Taps on it to make sure it still sounds good, checks the alignment of the valve stem so it's not crooked. And he starts to put air back in the, into the tire. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost ready to go. So the last thing is, is to make sure it feels good and firm. Now this guy's been doing tires for about 17 years, so he kind of has a pretty good idea of how much air is in the tire without using a gauge, surprisingly enough. Once he feels confident there's enough air in the, in the, in the rim and tire, he will check the valve stem for any possible leaks by taking a little water and splashing it onto the valve stem looking for bubbles just like we did when we looked for the initial leak. How's it look? Does it look good? No bubbles? No bubbles, no troubles? We're ready to go. We can take our wooden prop out from underneath everything and now it's back on the ground. We get our payment. Is our customer satisfied? Is he happy? Yep, thumbs up, ready to go. Off we go. Everybody's all smiles and happy. It looks like another successful job. And that's what we want. We want the customer to return again. There he is. Ready to go. Thumbs up. Everybody's happy and it's time to ride off into the sunset. Hey, 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 Vern.